Anyways, we have some good news. Violet and Crystal are not troublemakers anymore. But anyways, they're trying to bring the parents back. This is the moment now. Yep. We are actually going to try and break our old parents out of jail. They really do not deserve to be here at all. I know. I have had to live with my crazy stepfather who gives me far worse punishments than my mother. And I have had to live with my foster parents who really suck. They're not the same as my old parents, and I really miss my old parents so much. Well, it's a good thing I came prepared. We can just dig our way into this prison center, and then try to find our parents in the building. Awesome. We made it. Now let's be careful that we do not run into any sensors or searchlights. Awesome. We made it inside. Hey mom and dad. No Viley, you may not go and see Justin Bieber in concert. Uh, dad? I think you're still dreaming. Shut up Viley. Go to your room right now. Wake up, mom and dad. Huh? Holy crap. Viley, what are you doing here? I came to get you out of here. What the hell happened to your hair? I swear to God if anybody asks me that stupid question again. Hey Christo, do you have the key? I'm almost there. I'm just getting my mom out. How did you get all the way here without anyone noticing? Oh, well, you know, it's kind of a long story. All right, I got my mom out. Now I will let your parents out. Where the hell did you get a key? I found it sitting on the front desk, without anyone looking after it. Seriously, who would ever leave their keys unattended? Apparently prisons in Canada are doing a crappy job with security, because how the hell did we end up all the way here in the first place? Eh, qu'est-ce que c'est que ça? Oh my god. Christo, where did you get a gun? Again, it was left unattended at the front desk, among many other things. I also stole a whole bunch of ammo, so if we ever come across a large group of security guards, it won't be much work taking those bastards down. Let's stop talking now, and get the hell out of here. Right on. Oh my god. I missed this place so much. What the? Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Viley, who the hell are these strangers? Strangers? No. They are my old parents, you asshole. And now it is time for you and my stepmom to get the hell out of this house and return to your old lives all by yourselves. Now wait just one minute. Who the hell said you can kick me out of my own house? This is not your house, you imbecile. My parents and I rightfully own this property, and you and your wife have no authority over me anymore. That's it. I'm calling the police. Oh no you're not, because my friend Christo killed all of the officers. What? Are you serious? Yes. So now there are no more police officers in Canada. Well then I am calling your school principal. Hello, is this Principal Chantal? You have to come over here immediately. You're not going to believe what happened. Here is the address. Vous m'avez donc appelé ici pour inspecter quelque chose de suspect dans cette maison. Est-ce correct? That's right. It turns out Viley brought two strangers into this house without my permission, and I'm pretty sure that's a punishable offense. Ils ont l'air assez familiers. Vous devez être deux parents de Violi. Est-ce correct? That's right. We are Viley's actual parents. What the hell is going on here? Why is Principal Chantal in here? And who the hell are these strangers? Hey, we are not strangers. We are Viley's actual parents. Yeah, bitch. They are my actual parents. Now get yourself and your sick-ass husband out of my life. Hey, do not talk to your own mom like that. Violi a raison. What? What are you talking about? Selon vos archives, vous n'avez jamais signé de documents légaux pour devenir les tuteurs légaux de Violi. 
tout ce que vous avez fait, c'est découvrir que Violi n'avait pas de parents. Vous l'avez donc obligé à partir avec vous sans l'autorisation du foyer d'accueil. Il s'agit d'un crime grave passible de près d'une décennie de prison. Comme il n'y a plus d'officiers de police au Canada, je devrais être celui qui vous arrête, vous et votre mari. Damn it. I thought no one would find out about this. I know. I thought we were just being nice people, but I had no idea we had to sign any legal documents to actually become parents. Arrêtez de parler et bouger. Oh my god. Viley, that was the most heroic thing I have ever seen you do in my entire life. I never thought you would do anything quite like this, especially since you usually do bad things. You really do care about us, don't you? Hey honey, let's promise that we will never threaten any more severe punishments on our daughter ever again. That sounds like a great idea, because that's how we ended up in jail in the first place. You deserve a very big reward. Why don't we all go to Dave and Buster's, and you can do anything you want for as long as you want. What do you say? That would be awesome. Thanks guys, you are the best parents I could ever have, even better than my ugly step-parents. Or, don't mention it. Um, it better not be that stupid postman again. Oh my god. Surprise. Oh my god honey, I missed you so much. How did you manage to get out? Well, you know, Christo has his ways. Christo, this is the best night of my life. Why don't we all go to Dave and Buster's as a big reward for you? Awesome. Wow. I think they'll try to bring the parents back. They're not troublemakers anymore. So, anyways, they will help it join into Jonas from Mars Base. They can be new friends if they want. And anyways, see you in the next time. Bye.